good morning students i hope you are doing fine now today on 3rd uh, july 2020 we are going to start a new topic that is noun and its kinds so you must have studied this topic in previous classes also so before we begin let's read these sentences rohan is a boy the ball is on the table it is a tall building lion is the king of jungle i am happy put some sugar in the jug so now see these rohan rohan is a name of a boy so boy so boy means a particular class so this represents this boy represents a particular class and rohan is a specific name right so ball again names a particular thing a particular class of things thing which is round and which is, which bounces so that thing is called ball table table again we have the picture in our mind whenever we say a table we have uh, a picture in our mind that something which is made of wooden or plastic or it has a flat top and it has four legs it it may have a drawer right so a table again represents a specific class of things now building whenever we say a building again a picture comes in our mind that something which is very high rising which is tall which has stories or which uh, if it is a, if, even if it is a single story it has a roof it has certain uh, uh, rooms and all that windows doors something something like that so again it all it, it represents a group group of thing right now lion lion when we say lion the picture comes something which is which has uh, a, a fierce face which is fearful we are afraid of that thing who who, who can eat us who is a wild animal so a group of class of animal king whenever we say the word king so king means someone with the authority someone with the power so king again represents a class class of people or animal jungle jungle is class class of or group of woods jahan pe bahut sare ped paudhe hon so now this is a complex thing happy can you see all these things you can see rohan ko you can see boy you can see ball you can see table you can see building you can see lion king or jungle you all these things you can see but can you see happiness or happy uh sorry happy will not be a noun so instead of this we will write my happiness has no bounds so so can you see happiness no we can't see this but we can feel it right so we can feel it 
so next is put some sugar in the jug you can see sugar sugar something which is sweet in nature which which has some something sweet taste or jug is something which has which has a depth in which you can pour out things so again it is a class of thing again it is a class of uh, material thing so so from this we deduct we take out that a noun is something which we can see taste touch smell and or feel so noun is a word which we can see taste touch or feel or even right so so all those words which we can see we can taste we can touch we can smell or we can feel are called nouns so let's come to the definition noun is a name so when we put a name to all those things those things which we can see we can taste we can touch we can smell or feel when we put a name to those things that is called that name is called noun is the name of a person place animal thing or a feeling right so all these are the examples of noun right so so noun is the naming words ki jab hum kisi ka naam karan karte hain jaise mera naam preeti hai kisi ka naam rohan ho sakta hai kisi ka naam sahil ho sakta hai kisi ka naam manashvi ho sakta hai ab ye hum alag alag persons ya boys ya girls ke naam hai to agar hum when we are saying if suppose four girls sarita sushila manvi and madhvi these four girls are coming towards me and i do not wish to take their names separately so what will i say girls are coming right so the word girls is the name for that particular group for those four girls for those go, different different girls they are individual but when i say them when i talk about them collectively i call them girls so that word girl is the name of particular class of persons right so when we name persons place like place samirpur and avadevi they are two different places so to differentiate among the places there are so many places in the world like there is hamirpur there is samirpur there is avadevi there is sarka ghat there is um, tawny devi so how will we differentiate by their names right but when we talk about th- about them collectively we call them place right so the noun is the name of a person place animal thing or a feeling right happiness is a feeling we can't touch it we can't see it we can't smell it but we can feel it now there are basically two kinds of nouns one is concrete and other is abstract right concrete matlab something very solid which we can touch which the thing the the nouns we can touch see sorry 
सी और स्मेल राइट और इवन टेस्ट दीज आर कॉन्क्रीट नाउन कॉन्क्रीट मतलब जैसे सीमेंट जैसा पक्का तो उस उन वर्ड्स को उन नाउन्स को हम कॉन्क्रीट का नाउन कहते हैं जिनको हम टच कर सकते हैं देख सकते हैं स्मेल कर सकते हैं टेस्ट कर सकते हैं एब्सरेक्ट मतलब ऑपोजिट टू कॉन्क्रीट कॉन्क्रीट सॉलिड एब्सट्रैक्ट नॉट सॉलिड विच वी कॉन्ट टच वी कॉन्ट सी देम वी कॉन्ट स्मेल देम वी कॉन्ट टेस्ट देम बट वी कॉन्ट ओनली फील देम right that is abstract noun now concrete noun is further divided since we can touch them we can smell them we can taste them so concrete noun is further divided into, into four parts that is proper noun common noun material noun and the fourth one is collective noun right so let's talk about proper noun what is proper noun now here you see when i say rohan when i say rishika when i say delhi when i say india when i say monday when i say july so what are these rishika refers to one particular girl every girl cannot be named rishika so there must be one girl only every city cannot be named delhi there is one city called delhi every country cannot be named india there is one country india in the world so every day is not monday monday is one particular day in 7 days of week so same way every month is not july july is one particular month so that means proper nouns are the particular name particular names of persons things places or animals right particular particular means specific kisi ek aadmi ka naam kisi ek city ka naam kisi ek country ka naam kisi ek day ka naam kisi ek month ka naam right so that noun is called proper noun now what is common noun common now rishika is a who is rishika rishika is a girl so when i say girl boy man woman parrot right city day so i am not talking about any particular girl i am talking generally about girls common i am not talking about any particular boy i am generally talking about generally commonly boys same way man also common women also common parrot is a common 
noun city is a common noun and day is any particular not any particular day all days maybe right so common noun what is common noun a common a noun which is common to a group to a group or class of persons persons things animals animals right so which is common to all the persons in one group like the girl girls one more difference is uh, in proper and common that proper noun cannot be plural हम सिंगुलर प्लूरल करते हैं ना नंबर्स करते हैं सो प्रॉपर नाउन कैन नॉट बी प्लूरल ऋषिका कैन नॉट बिकम ऋषिकास डेली बिकम कैन नॉट बिकम डेलीज बट सिटी कैन बिकम सिटीज वी कैन कॉमनली टॉक अबाउट सिटीज मेनी सिटीज वी कैन कॉमनली टॉक अबाउट बॉयज मेनी बॉयज वी कैन कॉमनली टॉक अबाउट वीमेन बहुत सारी वीमेन same way we can talk about days so common noun can be can have plurals but proper noun cannot have plurals next is material material noun so material noun is the one in which we talk about things from which other things are made right like wood gold silver plastic diamond so the materials the things the naming words from which other things are made they are called material nouns now next is collective noun now collective noun as the name suggest is the collection of a group a group of same things like right? name given to a group of things people animals belonging to one to one class ki ek hi class ke ek hi group ke jaise your class is called Sixth class, or your class is called seventh class. So, so your class of students, all the students in your class in your room who are sitting in seventh class will be class seventh students, class sixth students, right? So. this is that that is collective noun jaise a a bunch of keys right a gro globe of trees ki trees ke jhund ko kya bolte hain group ko kya bolte hain globe 
और बंच कीज के ग्रुप को क्या बोलते हैं बंच अ क्रू ऑफ सेलर्स राइट सेलर्स के ग्रुप को क्या बोलते हैं क्रू सो ऑल दीज आर कलेक्टिव नाउन बिकॉज दे रिप्रेजेंट अ ग्रुप राइट नेक्स्ट लास्ट इज एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउन राइट एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउन इज अ नाउन विच वी कैन ओनली फील इट्स अ क्वालिटी और it is a quality or a state of being ki hamari mental state kaisi hai hamara mind kaisa hai that thing is called abstract noun like bravery can you see bravery but we can feel it somebody does a brave task that we say how brave he is so we cannot touch it we cannot smell it we cannot see it but we can feel it we can sense inside our uh, heart we can feel it right uh, then honesty can you see honesty can you touch honesty no you can feel it only it's the uh, the the matter of experience that you feel you experience things these nouns right so all these nouns are called abstract noun so this is your abstract noun and uh, so class 6 this is your chapter nouns so everything is given to you everything is explained to you very well i have already done that the explanation part so let's do the practice time one now underline the common nouns mickey went to the market with his father father and market the world loved her voice world and voice next year i will be at another place your place the girl sat on the steps of the temple girl and temple have you found the thing we were looking for thing sheila has gone to another country country today our teacher gave us a surprise test teacher and test the rabbit quickly ran down the path rabbit and path a hundred candles were lit on the rooftop candles and rooftop we should wash our hands before eating right hands now practice time 2 c you have to circle the proper nouns or there may be one, more than one nouns in each group alsatian alsatian is the name of a breed of dogs wagon wagon is the name of a car everest and nile everest is the name of a mountain nile is the name of river shimla and delhi are the names of cities Tokyo Tokyo is name name of a city it is the capital of Japan Sun moon Venus Jupiter they are the names of planets and stars and satellites John Karan and Sheila are the proper names of boys and girls now look at these collective nouns there are certain collective nouns given in your book you have to go through them you have to learn them right now practice time 3 let's do we have to circle the proper collective noun like the library of books the troop of actors 
the band of musicians team of players choir of singers flock of sheep herd of elephants class of students grove of trees chest of drawers so these are the collective nouns now abstract noun abstract noun these are the certain abstract noun how to form abstract noun from verb from common nouns and from adjectives so you need to learn them go through them some more are given in your brevia you can also go through them now you have to put the correct uh, abstract noun in the blanks helping others is real happiness slavery anger softness obedience wisdom childhood scholarship excitement bravery right now concrete or material noun see i uh, i explained to you already that what are concrete nouns and what are material nouns so things uh, these are the persons are concrete animals are concrete places are concrete and objects are concrete noun right so practice time 5 put prop correct concrete nouns first one is ball then trees bricks money stars sunset rain bread junction market right let's do more underline the nouns and star state their type team collective noun pen common noun mina proper noun words com common noun truth abstract noun taj mahal proper noun see here the answer is given to you so fun zone i fly aeroplane i am a pilot i treat sick people i am a doctor i decide cases in law of court i am a judge i command a ship i am a captain i click pictures i am a photographer so i hope these are clear to you now you have to as your homework you have to do the chapter of nouns in your brevia okay thank you very much have a nice day